visiting expeditions not only documented the native people of San Francisco Bay, but the region's unique flora and fauna. The striking California poppy, the California quail, and a marine mammal soon to vanish from San Francisco Bay entirely, the sea otter. Systematically hunted as early as 1785, by 1810, small Spanish operations were overrun by larger Russian and American ones fanning over the entire California coast. There were around 215,000 sea otters killed in a five or a seven year period in the early 1800s in the bay. They went out to the islands and then by 1817, they stopped going out there, but they had already taken 250 to 270,000 animals fur seals killed them out there. By 1830 or so, the sea otter was pretty much gone from the San Francisco Bay region and from the outer California coast. The arrival of Europeans marked an era of unprecedented change in the landscape as well. Upon first seeing San Francisco Bay in 1769, the Portola expedition noted grasses as high as a horse's bridle. The coastal prairies and foothill grasslands stayed green long after the winter rain ceased. Native perennial bunch grasses, such as blue wild rye, purple needlegrass, and California oat grass, covered the hillsides and prairie. But the native grasses were soon at a disadvantage. The landscape has changed dramatically, and it's really been what we call a type conversion from native plants to exotic plants, mostly coming from the Mediterranean. And these are mostly exotic annual grasses. That means grasses that live out their whole lifespan with the rainy season and turn brown and die in the summer. Lodged in cattle's hoofs, scattered in their droppings, spread intentionally by the friars, carried in on shifts, with the seeds of European annuals, fescues, wild oats and rye, and a host of weeds producing larger seeds in 10 times the quantity. The first grass that really swept through California was oat grass, and this is a good example. This is um, oat grass. It has a seed that is, you know, 35 to 40 times larger than the native seed. That was the first sweep across, and then after that, other exotic grasses would come through one after another. It was like a, a parade of grasses. The transition happened very quickly. You wouldn't have seen it happening in a year. You might have seen significant change in your lifetime. The speed of the transformation was facilitated by the new animals the colonists brought with them. You bring in a cow. Well, you bring in thousands of them. You bring in horse, pig, goat, sheep. They eat all the native vegetation. They destroy the seasonal environment. The seeds don't come back. The livestock that the Europeans brought in totally wiped out the native balance 